Hey everyone, I am just going to give you a quick tutorial on the Make Believes Comics website. It's a pretty um, easy website. It's super user friendly, so it won't take long. When you click on the link, it should take you here for you to create your comic strip. And I know it's a little overwhelming because there's a ton of stuff on here, but all you really need to look for is the home button. And then next to the home button, it says create comics. Just double click on that and it will take you directly to the comic strip maker. maker. You don't have to like log in or create an account or anything, which is really cool. So here we have it. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so I can show you some features. Down here, these are all the objects that you can add into your comic strip when you're making it. You can do background colors and specific backgrounds, masks and objects, balloons and prompts, characters. These are all things that you are going to be adding into your comic strip. So the very first box I'm going to start, that's going to be my title slide. And I know what box I'm working on all the time because whatever box I am working on is going to be highlighted in red. So I want to do my first slide. And because I'm just doing a title, I'm going to do one real quick. I'm just going to add here we go, a title box. And I know, actually, if I scroll up to the top where it says name your comic, I am going to name it. You are all going to be creating a, a comic on the ancient Phoenicians. I, let's say for the sake of example, we all know about ancient Egypt. So I'm going to do mine on ancient Egyptian mummies. And then the author, which is myself. So I'm going to say Miss Ellen. And then I'm going to add in my title slide. And I'm just going to title it Mummies for now. I know it's not very imaginative, but that is my title slide. And then I can move on to my next slide where I'm going to add text and add characters. So I'm going to look down at the bottom, go back to the main menu, and maybe go to characters right here. There are a bunch of characters that I can choose. And I, of course, am going to choose the mummy character right here. So I'll click on him and you know what I'm gonna add two mummies so I'm gonna click twice and I've got two mummies here I'll separate them like so okay and then you know what maybe I want to change the size of them too on the little menu bar right here whenever I want to move something around there's this move button and then to make something larger or smaller I can scale it so I'm gonna click on this guy and make him a little smaller here we go and then I'm going to click on this guy and make him a little smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to move him up a little bit. Like so. Perfect. All right. So now I have my two characters in my first box of my comic strip. I'm going to go back. Now let's say I need to add, let's look at some objects. There are a bunch of different things. You can choose whatever you think or whatever helps you represent your story about ancient Phoenicia. I am going to choose this foam finger because it's funny because <laughs> I want to and I am going to put it on this mummy now again it's pretty that's a huge foam finger it doesn't even fit so I'm gonna scale it make it a little bit smaller right move it so it fits there we go okay and then let's say I needed to add well I do need to add text so I'm gonna go back to my balloons and prompts add some a text bubble and let's just say my mummies are going to go to a soccer match they're going to go they're playing the uh you know they're playing the pharaohs let's say so mummies are number one there we go and then i can move it and oops and then i can move it right up here now i need i might need to finagle some things I'll move my money, mummy over, and then I'm going to move this over a little bit. There we go. So everything fits perfectly. Beautiful. Okay. You have creative freedom. You can add whatever you like as long as it is within the um, parameters of the instructions that I gave that go along with this. Um, I'll add a little background right here. There we go. I'm going to scale it, make it a little bit bigger. All right, so you can add what you like as long as you are following the instructions, okay? Um, have fun with it, you guys. It's a fun app to play with. There we go, look at them, ancient Egypt, okay? Um, 
to when you are done, after you filled in the required amount of squares and you have all the text that you need, when you are done, you are going to go to where it says print an email over here in the right hand corner. If you click on that, um, you just have to go to number three, put in your name, your email, and then you're going to email it to me. That's how you're going to submit it. Okay, you can't submit it through Google Classroom. Um, it's easiest just to email it to me, so that's how I'm going to be expecting them. Okay, and that's it. Enjoy, have fun with it, you guys. I can't wait to um, to look at them. Have fun.